finally, good people, finally, 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 we are getting into the cracks of the matter. And now we are like uh, every time we are moving at least two steps, two steps towards the crack of the matter. The questions that we have all been asking was, um, who was financing Tabo Besta? Who are the politicians that were involved in Tabo Besta's in Tabo Besta's saga? Right. Having asked all of those questions, we did not have answers. But guess what? Thanks to the IOL, they brought this. It's very much interesting. It is now starting to uh, starting to crack everything into in, into pieces, and now you will definitely see what happened. You know what I'm saying? It's becoming more clearer and clearer and clearer as investigative journalism are doing their work. Give credit to them. Like in this video, let me unpack all of that, provided that you're interested. If you are interested, then please stick around. As you stick around, there's only one favor that I'm requesting from you guys, and that favor is that you subscribe, you like the video, and you comment in the comment section below. Why do you need to do that? You need to do all of these things because doing it, it does help out a lot when it comes to the YouTube algorithm to promote and spread this video to as many people as possible. Right. I, like I told you, we've been asking questions. What happened? Who financed Bar Baxter? Who are these politicians? I'm telling you, we are moving at least uh, two steps ahead in answering that question. Guess what? Let me divulge this information from EIOL. This is what they have for us. Who bankrolled? That's the question they asked. Who bankrolled Baxter and uh, celeb, doc look, uh, celeb doctor lavish lifestyle. So who was financing their lavish lifestyle? That's the question that they ask. Joanna Jobek with the uh, polit local politically connected neighbors such as uh, Cyril, local president Cyril Ramaphosa and his advisor uh, Be Be Bejani Chawuk and Ramaphosa's nephew, nephew uh, Megan Ma. Ma Ma in Maulela, the 12 million Hyder Park mansion recently reported rented out, uh, rented out. Right. So now you can see that there are people close to the president that were involved in this thing. Right. And the president's advisor. Are there chances that the president doesn't know about it? <laughs> guys, 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 South Africa, wake up. Wake up, wake up. But I know you're saying bombs, it is not enough. Please give us more. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's get into this one. According to media report, the luxury home recently returned to the market for a rental of about 700000 a month with listing agent Bruce Sprecher and uh, what, what yeah, they are saying the property has been on the market since the beginning of last month. Right. However, questions. A question on whose lips was who was funding the rental of the seven hundred thousand rand was in look was it a proceeds from Iran properties which was owned by O was the couple funded by their own political connected friends the the Iram it is the company that was owned by TK Nkwana TK Nkwana is basically Tabo Best using another name. So they were asking those questions to say, who, how, how, how did this thing happen? Who financed what here? <laughs> it is getting nice. It is getting more tricky. It is getting more interesting. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into this one. This is what they say. Two weeks ago, the Sunday Times reported that Tabo Besta was living large in Johannesburg under the name Gatleko. Tom TK Mutsepenguana and signed some of his lease agreement through video calls with the property manager from prison. While Dr. Nande Bamakutumane told the clients that her husband was working overseas, it was reported that the rapist and the murderer who escaped from the Manga Wung Maximum prison in May last year has been running a scam construction company, Iram Properties, with celebrity Dr. Lava. Dr. Nande Pamakutuman, right. The couple, con local, the couple convinced several people to pay millions of rent for construction, prop local, 
construction project but never delivered the goods. The Hyder Park property, which is uh, which occupies about a uh, three thousand meter square of land and uh, allows uh, for um, a cutting edge approach to a traditional style, um, boost five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and three garages. The home also has a pool, tennis court, and a garden garden cottage. A source also spoke to independent media on unconditional of anonymity said Basta was not only as was not only a scammer with a silver a silver tongue but also enjoyed political connections which made it impossible for him to continue doing business even behind bars. We all knew and have been saying that good he would not have pulled all these things if he was not that politically connected. It needed that he must be politically connected for him to pull all these things. Now sources are coming clearer and clearer to say this has been possible or has been made possible by the help of politicians. You will recall in the, in the beginning of the video that I stated that an advisor, President Ramaphosa's advisor, Hey, has got to do with this house. <laughs> I don't know if you see what I'm seeing. <laughs> let me not let me not talk much. Let's continue. Continue, my brother. Others, however, said the scam and association with Makutumane were the source of luxury through luxury through their company and Enram property. According to Ground Up, clients of Enram property revealed that soon after signing on uh, on paying their deposit, they started to realize that something was not right. This was due to the couple's property development scam, which offered client services that were quoted up to 3 million below other companies in the industry and for the construction of Lajara's home. The construction was outsourced to subcontractors and little work was done. Media reports also indicate that those who have worked with Basta found him to be difficult to work with as he had a bad temper whenever clients sought clarity on the investment. Now, months before the, the pair was arrested in Tanzania, Makutumana's social media profile portrayed her as a hard-working woman who was well-traveled. Hmm. Right. So, wait a minute. The president's advisor moved out of the place and then Tabo Pesta get in. Was it a co accident? Remember, in the same video, we are told that this man enjoyed political connections. That's why he was able to pull these deals. Listening to Skim GP on a Magian podcast, he said, as, as a former thief as himself, he said, you can't pull these deals alone. You need help. You need people. He says, as thieves, they will find people in different places that will help them pull a crime. Was Tabo Pesta alone? Definitely not. Now you're beginning to see what I'm saying, trying to say. And in jail, get into the comment section below. Tell me what you think when. Eh? You and I will meet in the, in the comment section below. But until the next video, good people, please take care.